Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, this week we're going to be going over how to add in a small effect, which is going to be um, mist. You'll see it traveling across the screen. Let me go ahead and set up the demo real quick. And this right here is going to be our end product. If you look closely, we've got our little character, which uh, if you've seen any of the other videos or if you even know any kind of coding, you should be able to move your character around very easily. But if you look at the background, you see the little mist kind of floating by, which uh, which can be nice, you know, depending on what kind of game you're making, you may want to add something in like that. So um, let's go ahead and get this started real quick. We're not going to need much. <clears throat> first thing you're going to need is to build a background um, doesn't necessarily have to be any kind of size I made mine 400 by 300 you don't have to make yours that big it could be smaller or bigger whatever do not use it as a tile set um, whenever you go into uh, to edit what you actually want to do is you want to lower down the opacity um, lower it down a lot actually and what you're going to do is you're going to take the white and just kind of try and color in a little bit over uh, over everything and then you know just kind of go back a little bit and touch it up with uh, the hardness on the eraser and it's actually going to look like it's empty for the most part but if you do it right um, it'll end up looking like a little bit of a uh, fog and mist alright of course you've got your uh, object player he should already be created and then whatever room you're going to want to implement the mist slash uh, fox system into and this is just our testing room now in this room um, just go and place your object and this is where we're actually going to go to uh, create the mist fog um, go into your backgrounds and my first background is actually set to the grass just to have some sort of um, terrain make it look a little bit neater uh, now there's the background one has uh, the mist that we just made or that you would have made go ahead and pick it as your background image but then go ahead and click visible when room starts foreground image and when that what that's gonna do is it'll basically bring it up to to the top and last but not least I don't know why I forgot to do this you're gonna wanna hit horizontal speed one or negative one or whatever speed you want it to and basically what that's gonna do is it's gonna move the the mist image across the screen in that direction at that speed now let's go back again real quick there we go now for some of those who are wondering you know, well I want more fog in, uh, in my game uh, I would actually recommend adding it in through the backgrounds uh, just because if you go back to your mist and you modify it and you make it, um, I guess, uh, more opaque or uh, with a, a harder draw, well, whenever you add it in, it's going to be the same throughout every every level that has it. It's going to be exactly the same. So instead, what you can do is you can make it really light, like I did, and add it continuously to your background. So we can add it again. And if you notice, the area became more misty. Go down to this one, add some more, even more mist. So if you want to add more, or if you want to take away, um, I guess essentially just add more. If you want to add more, just go in here. And remember, you have to have foreground clicked. And you have to give it some sort of speed, whichever way you want it to go. But that's really about it. If you uh, follow these steps, you'll have yourself a uh, nice little fog slash uh, mist system that actually floats across your screen. There you go, guys. I uh, hope this helped. Uh, if you have any questions, go and let me know. 
Enjoy.